Are you ready for new jobs? When it was supposed to be all about the Mississippi primary. Instead, the presidential candidates, already in Pennsylvania gearing up for the next major battle, were fending off questions about the latest political sex scandal. No, I, I really haven't seen the details of it, so I don't know what's going on. The details have to do with New York Governor Elliot Spitzer and his connection with a high-end prostitution ring. He took the podium to apologize to his family after law enforcement officials caught Spitzer on a wiretap arranging to meet a call girl in a Washington hotel room. I have acted in a way that violates my obligations to my family and that, that violates my or any sense of right and wrong. I apologize first and most importantly to my family. I apologize to the public whom I promised better. But I have disappointed and fail to live up to the standard I expected of myself. I must now dedicate some time to regain the trust of my family. Spitzer, who is married with three children, is a Hillary Clinton supporter and a superdelegate. The former first lady, who knows all too well what Spitzer and his family are going through, was much more sympathetic. I obviously am sad. Spitzer is certainly not the first to get in trouble, and neither will he be the last. So what makes high-profile politicians fall into the same trap, risking their political careers? People in politics are competitive. They live on the edge. They live for adrenaline rushes. They live for the adoration of people to some extent. Politicians are very human people, and that's a bit redundant, but it's still worth emphasizing. Spitzer is now facing a difficult decision, resign or face a potential impeachment. Politics and sex is a front page favorite, and Spitzer is only the latest in a long line to find his private peccadilloes pinned up for everyone to see. But while a stark reminder to Bill Clinton's affair with Monica Lewinsky, some experts say this latest scandal will not significantly impact the presidential race or Hillary's chances of beating Obama in Pennsylvania. Anna Moya, Russia Today, 